what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we'll be talking about several different topics in this video here again today jeepers creepers 5 which is not confirmed we're just going to be discussing it insidious 5 which just recently wrapped filming we're going to be talking about the new upcoming hellraiser movie which now has an official release date and we'll be talking about the boys season 4 that amazon prime series so just to start off with for the jeepers creepers fans out there jeepers creepers 5 it's not confirmed again i think we are a long ways away from that movie meaning a couple years if it even is going to happen i just want to talk about how i think this will end up happening so again there's no official news or anything but i know we've talked about how oro already has a placeholder for the movie up on their site i honestly believe jeepers creepers 5 again is another couple years away if it ever happens and if it were to happen it's most likely going to be coming from myriad pictures and they'll be the ones producing the movie, separating themselves far away from screen media and whoever else had anything to do with this upcoming fourth movie that from everything we know, allegedly, supposedly, was made without having all of the legal aspects that needed to be checked off in place to make this movie. Because again, we know they're embroiled in this lawsuit and Myriad Pictures, we know, for those of you who grew up with this franchise, they have been the ones financing and producing these movies since the second one. Which leads me to think they do indeed have some type of rights to this IP. So if we get a fifth movie, they're gonna do it the right way. They're gonna do it with the original cast back most likely. And they are going to not bring back Victor or anything like that, but they'll probably bring back Jonathan Breck, bring back Gina Phillips, bring back all these people that you thought were going to be involved with the fourth movie, but because it was made again, supposedly not in the correct way, it should have been some malpractice or legal malpractices might have been going on. And, you know, all these other things that we're finding out if we get a fifth movie. It's going to be from myriad pictures and they're going to produce it with somebody else in mind that has nothing to do with screen media being a distributor or anything else that has to do with getting stuff done under the rug so jumping into insidious 5 insidious 5 is done filming patrick wilson and ryan Tarek actually announced it this past sunday via their social media accounts i saw people saying they did that they just they didn't they just start and i guess that's what it appeared like to us because they've been shooting the movie without being noticed pretty good i guess <laughs> because from what i've done while or what i've discovered while digging is that they began shooting in july from what i could find so that's like a five to six week shoot which isn't bad at all if that's concerning to you then i suggest looking up the original movie because i believe that was filmed for three weeks or maybe a little bit longer but the first movie definitely was filmed for a lot shorter period than this upcoming fifth movie Either way, I'm very excited to see Dalton's college adventure back into the further. I'm excited to see how the Lamberts respond to it when the movie arrives in July next year of July 2023. Going off of what we know so far and knowing that uh, that uh, the brother Foster is going to be back. Dalton's younger brother Foster is going to be back. We have Rose Byrne back. Uh, Patrick Wilson we know this is his directorial debut the funeral image that I shared again I've seen people talk about this I didn't really touch on this in the video there is a chance that it could be for Josh's mother if it is for Josh's mother pretty sad I was I did enjoy that character but I wouldn't be surprised if they go that route just to have an emotional crutch for the movie and maybe she ends up being something that saves Dalton when he ends up venturing back into the further maybe she is someone he sees when he comes across that lipstick face demon and she's one of the things that help guide him out of that and back into his body when he astral projects away from it too far once again lending to him getting caught up with that lipstick face demon but it could be some other demon i'm just expecting them to take the same route they took with josh and how he was revisited by that man in that bride in black as an adult after it was stalking him as a kid so jumping into hellraiser hellraiser has a release date of october 7 2022 this is the upcoming reimagining i'm talking about this upcoming reimagining of the ip from david bruckner who directed the ritual on netflix a brilliant horror movie there and last year's also brilliant horror movie that was featuring a powerful performance by rebecca hall who was always amazing things i see her in the night house coming out of that movie the night house i was like if this is 
anything like the upcoming Hellraiser film that they had that he has in mind, then I'm all for it. Again, the movie is supposed to come out on October 7 later this year on Hulu. The Nighthouse just had shades of Hellraiser all over it, so I can't wait to see Pinhead and the Cenobites be revived under this new direction. Jamie Clayton, I know, is starring in the role as Pinhead, and I look forward to seeing what she does with the character. I think David Gordon Green has a show on the way too, I believe. And he stated in the past, I think that he wasn't worried about Bruckner's movie and how this show would tap into the mythos a bit more. I will say this just as a sidebar about that. I think Halloween Ends is gonna make or break any excitement related to him touching other horror IPs. Like we know they're working on this new Exorcist trilogy. And I just was remi reminding myself that he's also working on this Hellraiser TV series, if that's even still something that's happening. Whatever the reception is with Halloween Ends, I think that's going to be a, a deal breaker for a lot of people and them or this team of people with him being at the helm as director working on classic horror IPs. A lot of people are already thinking that they took a big nosedive after the 2018 Halloween movie with Halloween Kills falling, falling shorter than what we got from 2018. Halloween Ends seeming like it's going to fall into a same if not worse trap, but hopefully Halloween Ends is something that is much better than Kills. Something that is more along the lines of the 2018 movie, even if it's just becoming second best. But some people are already writing this off as the worst of the trilogy. I'll still go into the movie with an open mind, but I'm just... I wouldn't be shocked if I'm disappointed. Disappointed in the execution. I'm just going to prepare myself for anything. But go, still going to with an open mind. But we'll see. But again, the Hellraiser movie is coming out October 7th, later this year. So if you were looking forward to that movie, you have something to look forward to later this Halloween season. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is The Boys Season 4, currently filming. Uh, Anthony Starr confirmed this a couple days ago. We know he stars as Homelander in this series. The ending of Season 3 definitely left me intrigued for the upcoming fourth season. After Homelander got away with murder in front of a large group. Uh, after someone attacked his son, Ryan, who... The actor Ryan, who plays Ryan Cameron Corvetti, he's actually been bumped to a series regular going into season four. So I'm expecting Ryan to be a big threat to any plans that the boys have related to taking out Homelander. Maybe Soldier Boy will be back. Uh, Queen Maeve could return. We know I think she's taken a step away from all of this after she faked her death. But we'll see what ends up happening with the boys season four when it arrives. When it arrives, let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.